Senna from Strictly Medicinal. This is a flat of Moonflower Datura. And they've been planted, they came up really well. So it's time to separate them and give them their own pots. There's quite a few in here. And surprisingly, we also had Cedar of Lebanon come up in this flat. So they're gonna go over here because those little sacred trees are very precious. That's grass. <clears throat> when we plant these seeds, we save space by putting them all fairly thickly planted and we had a great germination on these so we need to individuate them now and they've grown a nice root and they've grown their their first true leaf after the cotyledons so that's about the right timing you don't want to go too too early when they're too little and you don't want to leave them crowding each other for too long where they really can't make enough roots. If they're crowded, they'll start to bonsai or J root. None of that's good. You just make a little hole, drop the root all the way down in there, and then fill in around it. And this is a good time to select for strong genetic traits. Make sure you use your strongest seedlings first. And if, if I have room later, I'll put that one in, you know, I don't wanna leave anybody behind. Start with the best ones. <clears throat> and when you drop that root in there, I really make sure that it gets down towards the bottom so that it has a good sense of direction and it continues to grow straight down and straight up. So when we depot these, we use centrifugal motion to get them out. So let me show you the next one. We just give it a little squeeze to loosen it and then force of gravity there. Gently look at all those roots, healthy white roots, they're doing great. And there's the cedar of Lebanon, which we planted first, and we actually thought that it wasn't coming up, so we replanted with Datura, and right when the Datura sprouted, sure enough, there came the cedar of Lebanon, so Instead of wasting any resources here, we're just gonna separate them out and put the cedar trees up here. And these get to be 200 feet tall. They, they're humongous conifers, so it's kind of amazing to be able to hold a tree like that when it's a little tiny baby, knowing that it's going to be there probably realistically long after I'm dead. <laughs> And uh, I'm just giving thanks right now for air and for earth and water and life force, sunshine. Thanks for watching. I've transplanted all of these. Just gonna gently water the roots. I prefer not to hit the leaves if I can help it after I transplant because it's so much easier for them to absorb water when their leaves are still dry. You just get them wet in there and there's the Datura. Ready to fill their pots and hopefully get sent out. Mm -hmm.